So there, unfortunately, is a bit of a lingering myth in dance that strength training will make a dancer bulky or less flexible. So, and I know many of us are trying to debunk this myth frequently. So how do you yourself uh, address these concerns with the dancers you work with, their parents, their teachers? Um, sort of how do you go about debunking <laughs> that myth? I think the, I well, I mean, there's just so much I could say on this topic, but I'm going to try to keep it succinct. Um, I think the myth comes from the obviously like wanting the aesthetics of like a dancer body and a ballet body. Um, but it's more so focused on like female bodies in dance. I, I find, um, that's at least in my own personal experience, that fear of getting bulky is trending trends, trends more towards female dancers. Because when we look at male dancers that are like very strong and muscular, we praise them for being so strong and muscular and women can be muscular too. And I find that that is, uh, that's kind of like more of the root of it. And like for those aesthetic reasons, but on a more like debunking side of things, um, I've gotten this from a variety of, of ages actually. And I always kind of start with a little bit of education and try to tell them the diff, like what muscle hypertrophy is and tell them, well, like in order to gain strength, your muscles do have to get bigger. That's what happens to the muscle fibers they, or you like you, you th that's how we build like density in the muscle. But in order to get bulky, you would have to drastically change your nutritional habits. And I'm not qualified in, in nutrition. I'm not a registered dietitian. So what I'm teaching you and what you're normally just doing at the gym is not going to give you that kind of body that you're afraid of. You would have to be working extra hard and eating like probably twice as much food as you are now, maybe three times as much food as you are now in order to like achieve that look. And so it's not, it, it's, I, I understand where the concern comes from, but I try to show them some empathy. I try to educate them and then kind of like reassure them that this is not, this is not something that we're, we're doing here. Um, but not from a place of don't worry, I won't make you bulky from a place of like, this is a myth. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And I think, yes, I love everything you said there. And totally agree with it. And pretty much I would probably answer it the same way as well. Just education about muscle anatomy and physiology, first and foremost, just, you know, let's let's look at a muscle and, okay, when it does get bulky, like how do we achieve that? And so yeah. just kind of learning more about that is so key. And then, like you said, to the nutrition component, which I am also not exactly qualified to be giving nutrition advice or um, and even we can talk about things like hormones, too. Oh, yeah. Which is a bit out of out of my wheelhouse with respect to this. But again, just more education about all that type of stuff, I think, would really sort of help people just have less of a fear about that. Because, you know, it is like you mentioned, since we do have the aesthetic component in dance, like it's it's a legitimate concern, you know, when we are staring at ourselves in the mirrors all the time and, yeah. you know, want to look, look a certain way or have a certain like role model that we're trying to look like. So it's a legitimate concern. But yeah, I think it's very important that we just kind of educate about sort of what what muscles are really doing when we are working out or strengthening them and things like that. Even the type of training you would do for, like, if you were, if we took nutrition out of it and you were training to be a bodybuilder versus training to, like, develop muscle endurance, like, those are two very different training methods as well. So it's just kind of, yeah, like you said, educating those differences and knowing that it's coming from a place of concern and a valid concern at that, especially in the, in the ballet world. Yes, definitely.